thinking about starting to use compliments in a room. Um, every color, this is really fun actually, every color creates an actual visual craving for its complement. And you can do this at home or you can do it later when you're not here. If you stare at a color for a long, long time, like say blue, uh, or say if you stare at orange for a long time and then you turn your eyes and look at a white piece of paper, you're going to see blue. Um, your eye is craving its complement. So the white paper will look a slightly bluish color of white, which is interesting. Another reason why it's important when you start combining colors, and you know how I was saying earlier, when you put a color next to another color, it changes the way it looks. Sometimes it's because of the after image that your eye creates from looking at a color and then seeing its complement. Um, so that's really, really interesting. And um, so if you have the, the confidence, if you're bold enough to put compliments in a room, you're really giving the eye exactly what it wants. It's really, really pleasing. And we're going to look at some spaces in just a moment, one of which is mine. Uh, and you kind of think, whoa, blue and orange, that's really bold together. Like, wow, I don't know if I could do that. But we're going to show you how it can work. And it, it starts to be more about not the purest, boldest, color of royal blue and the purest, boldest color of orange, but maybe a tint or a tone, which I'll tell you what that is in a minute, or a version of um, some of these colors that makes it really, really work together and, and really beautiful. Um, but the caveat, as we just kind of mentioned, it is very dynamic and very contrasting most of the time if you put compliments in the same room. So know that you're going to be taking a bold and daring step if you do this. Now, as we go through the next few days, we'll see that putting two colors in the room in a room together does not mean that you're going to paint your entire wall cobalt blue and have a vibrant orange sofa sitting against it. That's pretty much what I would not recommend doing in most cases, unless you're really, really skilled at this and have a very specific plan. Now, anything can work. There's always an exception to the rule. And I'm even going to give you some tools and tricks of how to make things transition and work, which is fun. But typically, we're not saying, an entire room and a wall is this bright, bold color. And as you'll see, people look at my work, and, and even, Deborah, you were saying, um, Toby's a, a master at color, and she uses all these bright colors. But when you really start dissecting and understanding my spaces, a lot of times what you find out is a room that you glance at that you think, oh, that's a really great orange Toby Fairley room. The entire palette, the envelope, the walls, the floor, the ceiling are often beige or a neutral, and it's because we place color strategically that it reads as if the whole room is that color, which is fun. And that's gonna be one of the things that I hope you love to take away from this. But just knowing that dynamic and contrasting are two of the things you're gonna get when we start this um, combination of compliments. So let's look at this um, example. Blue, that's a compliment, blue and orange, but isn't it great? And we're going to understand um, more about this as we go. But as I was just saying, look how there's very little orange and there's very little blue in this space. But doesn't it read as a blue and orange room? It's really a white room. And we're going to talk more and more about how that is accomplished and why. Um, but our eye sees those strong, warm colors. And look, just to test what we were just learning, look how the orange advances. Like that's the first thing your eye goes to. It's warm. And it really kind of screams color. And the blue recedes, doesn't it? It's softer. And of course, we picked a tone of blue. It's mixed with white, meaning it's a powdery blue. So, and we'll talk about that in just a sec. But I think this is a perfect example of starting to test our Color 101 knowledge of seeing warm versus cool, complements together, and really seeing the difference in receding versus advancing, and the energy that comes from that. If we had reversed this, and the tables uh, were blue, and there was just a little pop of orange, it would be a much cooler space, not as energetic. Um, and part of what makes this room dynamic, and you think of something that's dynamic, it moves, it has energy, um, is the combination of the two colors together, the complements, the blue and the orange.